okay so to start with it first thing we need is a you know mqtt broker over here i am using a cloud one that is from mqx you can use any sort of broker like you know you can use your local mosquito installation and all that and from here we need uh, the address port details along with that also we need the c certificate if it is you know using ssl now let's head over to uh, you know note right and first we'll try to subscribe to a topic so for that uh, we are going to use mqt in node then to print out the message we are going to use a debug node just connect then in MQTT, we need to configure the server so here i have already you know configured one but uh, let's see how to add a new broker so let's just give it a name of uh, mqx the server address and i'll just copy it from here you can use uh, whatever MQTT broker you are using based on that the port uh, the unsecured port is 183 but as this one is using you know secured connection we need to use the corresponding port that is triple eight three it will just tls also we need to add tls configuration i have already configured one but let's see how to add a new one i'll just upload the ca certificate and to do that i just need to download it from here so if your mqtt broker doesn't use tls you don't need to do this step so let's just upload it from here don't need anything else Right. Yep, I selected. We'll select MQTT version 3.1.1, and that's it. Oh, sorry. One more thing is my, you know, the connection is authenticated, so we need to use the username and password. Uh, that really depends on the broker that you are using. So for MQX, you can code authentication and a seal, and you can create a user for, you know, your connection here. So that's it I think add the messages also I can use but that really depends. So I'll create a topic test not add QS2 and we want auto detected a pass station if the you know message or payload is of type JSON. Done deploy Ah, that's okay so if everything goes okay you'll see you know this connected over here now let's go to any sort of entity tool so i'm using a tool provider mqx itself so here i have just added a connection so you can use other tools like mp3 fx or you know mp3 lens as of your choice so i'll just go here and uh, publish a message to test node red and i create a json payload let's say you know data uh, as an empty object so publish and we should see that message here in the debug console if everything goes okay uh yet test slash node right oh okay And you can see we have got the message here. Yep, the data is an empty object. So now uh, let's test how to publish to a particular topic. And to do that, we'll need MQT out node. Uh, a trigger for that we are going to use inject. And we'll use a function node to you know write in our custom message. Let's connect this space here. I need to configure the topic again. Uh, if you are using a different server, you can use from here. <clears throat> I'll just use the MQX. So I'll just use the topic that I already have subscribed to. Note right, QST. 
15 i want to write it false done now in this function node we'll configure the payload that we want to publish to do that i'm just creating an empty object here i'm creating a object uh, let's say we have a couple of you know sensor values uh, like temperature four wind speed 2.3 okay done let's clear this one deploy close now when you publish to this topic as you know the mp3 in node is subscribed to that topic you should get the data here in debug and you see temperature and wind speed we can also verify that here using the cloud tool by mqx so we just need to subscribe to that topic so test note it to subscribe and here just click on this okay now let's go here and you can see uh, you know we can see the data coming out of node red so you can also you know customize the messages and all that using uh, this function node or we can inject different type of message from different other nodes like you know you can have some logic that will you know publish a particular message to a particular topic same you can do with the computer in node you can pass the input message and you can do some sort of logic and you can you know process in your node rate flows so that's all uh, for today guys hope you have enjoyed this video if so hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for videos like this thank you see you again in my next video till then bye